Alright guys, so we're going to start this video with an introduction to connections. Uh, we're going to be looking at the different types of connections we have in steel structures and we're going to be looking at capacities in terms of the different failure modes that exist in these connections. So in connections in steel structures, we're mostly going to look at two common types. First one being bolt connections where we use a bolt and sometimes a plate to connect two members together, two or more and the second one is welding okay for bolts we're going to look at two types of bolts one is a commercial grade bolt for which is a grade 4.6 and one that is much stronger and more common in large steel structures and that it's a grade 8.8 .8. Uh, for welding there's uh, many different types of welding using different methods um, but the common ones that we're going to look at in in this topic are fillet welds and butt welds. We'll go into more detail uh, when we come up to it in the next couple of videos. So connections in relation to steel structures, we're mostly going to look at capacity um, of these connections in tensile members. Um, these connections can also be put under many different loads in compression and bending, but most of the time we're going to be looking at them in tensile members. So, so far we've actually encountered connections only in the in the tension uh, chapter and we've assumed that the tension capacity is not uh, critical when it comes to connections. We've assumed the critical capacity is only based on the sections themselves and not the connection. So when a member is put into tension, we've always only assumed that the section would fail first rather than the connection. However, uh, as we come to do